Okay. Hi, thoughties, and welcome back to my crazy ass channel. How are y'all doing today? I hope you are doing amazing. Why does it always make me look like Shrek? Why? <laughs> But today we are back in for part five of Detroit Become Human. I'm so excited. Hopefully y'all are too. And I actually wasn't going to post this today. If this even goes up today, I don't know yet. But look at the time. Y'all can't even see. But oh my gosh, what the heck. It's like almost 7 p.m. right now. And normally I post Detroit at 7 p.m. But I had a very, very, very busy day. So I apologize for that. But we're in right now. We're going to film. What's up, bitch? Anna Sophia Rob. Remember, you decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. <gasps> so be careful. Is she like saying something's about to happen? I'm scared. I'm not ready for this episode. I feel like something bad is about to happen. I'm really nervous for this. Let me make sure I'm recording. Yes, sorry, I'm a mess right now. And I'm really hot too. Can I get some water on aisle one? Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and wait for this game to load. But how is y'all doing? Are you doing good? Are you having fun? It looks like I got sunburnt, but it's just my blush, bitch. That's the effect I was going for. I love it. Okay, we're loaded up and hello, Connor. Look how pretty he is. Hey, baby, I missed you. I really did miss you. Oh, look at him with his umbrella. Girl, he's holding an umbrella for uh, Amanda, that evil bitch. But you know what? I love me a gentleman. Uh-huh. I love a man that can hold an umbrella for me while it's raining or while he's making my panties rain. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's go talk to Amanda. And she's probably going to yell at us. She's going to be like, you didn't find the deviant. I fucking hate you. We're going to shut you down. Blah, blah, Hello, blah, Amanda. blah. <laughs> Connor, I've been expecting you. Oh, gosh, she hates us. Would you mind a little walk? Oh, God, I'm scared. <laughs> that umbrella looks kind of bougie. That deviant's Her earrings. Not an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Um, explain? Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. No, he needs to live. Did you manage to learn anything? No. <laughs> um, the diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Oh no. What else? Signs on the wall. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. Who the heck is RA9? My lips feel so weird because I don't have lip gloss on. But I'll shut up now. No, How seriously. Is your relationship with Lieutenant Development? How the fuck do y'all wear matte liquid lipstick? Like, I don't get he it. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. <laughs> yeah, Hank was like, Connor! Never mind. And that was his thank you. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Wait, what's on her chest and takes. arm? I will solve this investigation, Amanda. Did y'all see that? I never noticed. I won't disappoint you. Ever. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Okay. I can't wait to free more androids, bitch. You know you got the wrong person on the case. I am not helping you. I'm not helping Cyberlife. We are going to win the right way. Mm-hmm. The right freaking way. So, are we playing as Connor again? Yes, I guess we are. We haven't played as... Marcus in a while. Actually, I guess we did. But like that Kara episode was so long. Like in that old guy's house. That was like a long thing. We spent like 45 minutes on that, I think. Oh, Hank is our friend. Hell yeah. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Uh-oh. Oh, this is where you live at? Okay. It's actually not a bad house at all. And I love the color of the stone. Like my future house, bitch, once I get rich and once I make it, I want that stone in my house. Doggy! Oh, I can see his little doggy. That's Sumo, right? Sumo! 
Doggy dee, doggy dee, dog, doggy, doggy. Ass so fat, all these bitches think I'm a potty. Anyways, let's see, what's in here? <gasps> My man's Hank is past the fuck out. Okay, wow. Oh, are we breaking the window? Ooh. <laughs> He's not gonna be happy about that. Let's get in, Connor. Oh! Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. Oh? I'm here to save your owner. Hi, baby! Oh, what a king. He's like, I'ma just eat, Dan. I love dogs. That's like a Bernese Mountain Dog, right? Oh my gosh, wait. Look at all the pizza boxes and the dishes. Hank, you need an Android. Why is there a gun? Hang on a second. Why is there a gun in his hand? Wait, I think I... I don't know. Like, was he going to freaking commit suicide or something? And then he passed out? Okay. Um, let's see. What's going on? Traces of alcohol, scotch, whiskey. Okay, so he is drunk as hell right now. Um, yeah, why? I don't get it. Why would he have a gun? Maybe he gets depressed when he's drinking, or maybe he's just depressed in general. Uh, I really don't know. Heart, no signs of trauma. Okay, so he's just sleeping. He's fine. Lieutenant. At the lick coma? Bitch, what? I don't know. Oh, Girl. slap his face, honey. Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh! It's me, Connor. Daddy! Do that to me, bitch. Like, that got me a little bit excited. Hey! Hey! Leave me alone, fucking Android. Get the fuck out of my house. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> he is so drunk right now. Thank Look you at him. for your cooperation. We get the fuck <laughs> out of here. No. <laughs> I hate when we have to like move it like that. Okay, Hank is just drunk out Shut his up. mind right now. <laughs> Good job. Oh my god. Attack. He's not gonna attack us. He loves us because we know his name. Oh fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Throw it all up, honey. Throw it all up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not Ew. Wait, did he spill his drink on his shirt or did he throw up on his shirt? That's what I want to know. We need to get him some water what the hell are you and doing? sober him up. <laughs> uh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Oh? It's for your own good. <laughs> Connor, getting aggressive tonight, honey. Let's go turn on the shower for him. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he does not look happy. He's going to kill us. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, hey! The homicide was reported 43 <laughs> minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. That is so funny. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. Yep. He's assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> You're our cop, baby. Can't you just leave me alone? <laughs> no. Um, rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn <laughs> case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. No! We need you, Hank. Please help us. Okay, we're not gonna tease him. Don't be mean. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. Oh. No. This homicide. Yes. <laughs> what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. Oh. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. We go into a sex club. To a sex club. Android twerking on the bar, stripping on the bar. Girl, we go into a strip club. Let me know down below. Would you ever want to go to like an Android strip club? Because I would. I mean, what do you want to wear? I would tip them. Um, hippie, streaky, stripey. Mm, 
streaky. I don't know. Does it really matter that much? Watch us be like the biggest choice in the game. <laughs> it's always the tiny things where you're just kind of like, oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. It's whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Throw it up. But I wonder if that was like a huge thing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Wait, does he get drunk like this every night? Ah! Ew! Okay, learn more about Hank. So, he seems to have a really nice TV. It looks like that's like the most expensive thing in his place. But let's take a look. What does Hank like? Can we learn the tea on him? Autumn Blues, Michigan uh, Brothers, Detroit Soul Music. Hank loves jazz, okay. Many experts are Maybe that can come in handy if we're trying to like win him over with something and be like, bitch, I love jazz so much. How about you? Hi, Sumo. You're such a big boy. Hi, handsome. Aw. I just want to like lay on him. Big dogs are the best. He's just a big teddy bear dog. And I just want to say thank you to him for not killing us. <laughs> Hank loves jazz. Okay, we got that. I thought Hank loved heavy, uh, heavy metal music. Because you remember like when we were looking at his desk? I just thought he loved heavy metal music or something like that. But maybe not anymore. I don't know yet. Oh, no. A little boy. Cole Anderson, ooh, he died. So Hank's son passed away. That describes a lot. Like, that's why he's so sad. It doesn't seem like he has anyone else. I don't know if he has a wife. Him and his wife split up after their child died. I don't know yet, but should we question him? What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. I to see how long I can last. Hank! Must have collapsed before I found <sighs> out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Holy shit, Hank. I'm gonna cry. I wanna give him a hug. Oh, he looks kinda like a daddy, though. Aw! Oh. Sumo, you wanna dog, come? Sumo. I won't be long. I want Sumo to come with us to the sex club. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel so bad. Like, what's wrong, Hank? Okay, so we learned a lot. Did we miss anything? We did miss two things, but I don't know what. Pull the plug and then there's something over there. But Hank came out before I could look at it. Calm Hank's dog. There's something else that we could have done with Sumo, but okay. I think we mainly got everything we needed to do for this episode. <laughs> well, not episode. I keep calling them episodes for whatever reason. Ooh, we're playing as Marcus right now. I remember this level, and it can either end fucking terribly, or it can go well. So we're going to have to really try our hardest to focus and be good. Be on our A game and be ready, okay? This is crazy. If they Shit. Us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Okay. Me. We really gotta be careful, you guys, because this shit can end deadly for everyone. Gotta be nice and careful. <laughs> oh my god, I just choked. I don't even know why, but I did. Okay. Don't let them see us. We hiding out here. Don't even worry. We in the dark. Nobody's gonna see shit. All right. Watch out. Uh oh. Oh, that little shit. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Queen, look at her. She's like. I'ma use my mind to sort shit out because that's what a boss ass bitch would do. Okay. There's gotta be an easy way to do this.
somehow. What are we even trying to do? Oh yeah, we're getting the fucking spare parts and like the spare blue bud. Blood, blue blood for all of the androids back in Jericho, which are dying out slowly. And just to like have extra parts for like newcomers and stuff like that. So hopefully we can get a bunch of freaking parts and this will end well. That's really what I'm hoping. I'm coming. That is so sick. What the hell? How do they not slip and fall? Like, it's fucking raining and they're holding on to metal. How are they not falling? I don't get it. But androids are so superior to us in every single way. Like, look at them. So superior. So let's keep on the going. I'm scared, y'all. I feel like we're gonna mess up. I don't know. I'm really nervous for this. Whew. But we'll try. We will definitely try. North is so pretty. We have everything we're looking for. First we oh, have God. Leave it to me. Okay. Um. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, this thing again. That makes it really easy. Let's see. Um, let's try this way. These and then these. And then wait, there's another one right here. I remember. I bet it's so lame for y'all to like <laughs> watch me do stuff that I've already done, but I'm trying to do everything in the best possible way. I just, I want to win. I want everything to be good, you know? I want it to all work out and be happy. Ah! Oh my god, break it, break it, break it! Ow! Get it! Break! Yes! Okay. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <gasps> we, we did it! Like Ooh, North like that. Take Bitch, are we gonna get some pussy though? Back. Take as much as you can. Come on, North. Okay, search the crates. Oh, we're here already? That was fucking easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a bunch of stuff from the crates. I almost whacked myself in the fucking face with that. Like, imagine my controller just broke my nose, but then i get a free nose job, so it'd all be worth it. <laughs> Wait, uh-oh. What's going on? Shit, don't snitch. Don't snitch. You were trespassing on private property. No! Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. No! John! God damn it. John! Machine. Where is it this time? Wait, what do we do? Grab and hide? Ah, oh, grab and hide, grab and hide. I didn't want to kill the John. guard, you guys. If I kill the guard, everything's just gonna get worse. I need your help. Ooh. John! Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Hold! Shit! Uh-oh, I might have made the wrong decision. Oh no! Are we okay? There's the drone now. Yay! Okay, pacifist, ah, pacifist path is going pretty well. We didn't have to kill him. And I think John is on our side, right? Okay, let's, let's finish up and get keep out getting here. stuff from all of the crates, get all the parts we have. We still don't have enough. Okay. All the blue blood. Yay! Everybody is going to get repaired and feel better. Everyone's gonna be so happy. Hell yeah. Check the bigger crate. Okay. What's in the bigger crate? Oh, that's probably like a shit ton of parts. Yes! It's a truckload. What is inside? Stop making me move my fucking controller, bitch. It's so annoying. Open her up. <gasps> oh, it's all androids. They're sexy. What the hell? They kind of look like Connor. Mmm, baby. Uh, 
Free them, of course. What the hell? We're freeing all the androids, you guys. Oh, his eyes. Holy shit, so sexy. I still haven't seen an ugly android. Like, they just don't exist. Whew. So fucking hot. You're alive now. Let's go. Yes, everybody's loving our uh, choices. So I'm happy. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Okay, did we successfully do it? Take me with you. Oh? He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. Yeah, we're taking him. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. What? I want to take him. They come with us. I'm sorry if you're mad, North, I know where but. You can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full oh. of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Shit. I don't know why Down they got there, so mad. Control station. That I wanted him to come guards. with us. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what uh, we came for. Let's shit. go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. You know what? Oh, let's do it. Right Risk here. it. About Risk it for the biscuit, bitch. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. Oh, God. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Okay, so I just want to say the reason I'm choosing to do this is because at the beginning they all said, like, I would rather die than stay here. Like, we might as well try to do something for our people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're just going to try to do this as stealthily as possible and not murder anybody. What? Why did he leave? Do we have to look for a different way? What is this? L2. Okay. This does not seem good. Maybe I messed up. Okay, we found the key. Is there like another entrance? Ah! Oh my god, I thought I just like ran into a guard or something like that. I was gonna be so mad. Wait, can we go inside though? Where the fuck are them dogs coming from? Wait, what am I supposed to do? I can't get in from that way. Oh, something over here. What's this? Oh, the dogs. They're in crates, cages, shit. They look mad. They're just like barking out here or whatever. Oh, we can go in through this window. Dope. Wait, which one should we go in through? I say we go through the one in the back just because then it's like further and we're not going to run into all of the guards. Hopefully that was the right window. I have never done this before. The first time I played it, I was like, okay, yeah, we have enough. Let's just not risk our lives. Oh, shit. Okay. Looks like there's something God over here. What, the what can we do? Looking? Threaten the guards? Wait, no, we're not going to do that. There's got to be another way to do it, like, peacefully. See, he just said he has kids. Like, okay, yes, we're causing a blackout. Let's do it. Wait, how do Looks I do it, like though? It. Shit. How the fuck? But right over here? Better off in here than out patrolling that. Okay, we have three things that we could do. Lure the guards outside, threaten them, or cause a blackout. But let's go ahead and try to lure the guards outside, maybe? I don't know how we're gonna do that, but like with our magical android powers, we might be able to somehow. Let's see. How can I lure them outside though? I could let the dogs out, which is a fucking horrible idea. Let's not do that. Um, let's knock these over. Shit. Uh, attract the guard. That. The fell down. Okay, now let's be quick. Be quick. Yes! 
Yes. Are we going to do it? Okay, run. Get the key. Run, 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 run. Marcus, get the key. Please. Get the key. Steal the key. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Get the key. Get the key. Get the key. Let's get out of here. Please, Marcus. Shit. 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 Wait. What? I just fucking trapped myself in the bathroom. That was the worst idea I've ever done in my life. Wait. Fuck. Fuck. I'm so scared. We're literally going to run into the guard. Oh, wait. Let's go through ah, this window. Wait. Can we see them through here? Exit. Wait. Are we okay? Did we do it? <gasps> we did it! Yes! We fucking did it, you guys. Oh, my God. That was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Bitch, and I think we did everything right. We didn't threaten anybody. We got it. Hi. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is nice, right? We did it. All right, everybody, get on in. Beep, beep, motherfuckers. Hurry. Get in. <laughs> we got a bunch of parts. I'm so happy. Everybody at Jericho is going to be nice and bougie. Everybody's getting their blue blood. Like, bitches are just going to be ready for this. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, drive. Beep, beep to freedom. I love how it just drives itself and I don't actually have to worry about like crashing into something because that would not be good. <laughs> not cute at all. Wait, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Open the fucking thing for us. Hello. Uh oh. Don't mess up, Carmen. Don't mess up. Oh. It didn't even give us an option. I thought we were going to have to, like, pretend to do something, but we got all the parts. We didn't kill anybody and we did it. Yes. A truckload. We stole Yay! a truckload of bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. <laughs> oh, bitch. Give me some pussy in the back. <laughs> okay. Looks like everybody's happy. Because here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. Mm hmm But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that chills. from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they no, don't want to give, cry. we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yes! <laughs> Y'all, I'm literally crying. Look at this shit. My fucking eyeliner is smudging everywhere. Marcus just made me cry. Shit. It's like when he's all like, we are alive. I'm more than what they... Oh my god. So emotional, but I love this game so much. Okay, so I think we definitely did a good job over here. Let's see. Group return with full bags. Marcus stole a truck full of parts. And there's one other thing we could have done, but that's probably like leave empty-handed or something like that. So I think we chose probably the best path for this episode. <gasps> the sex club! Bitch, the sex club. Yes! I've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, it was like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Oh my god, don't fucking drink forever sure then. This is the place. <laughs> it's the address in the report. This is definitely the place. What do you mean? You sure this is the place? Okay. There's like 10 sex signs right there. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so. Somebody killed somebody at this club. Maybe it was North, to be honest. Because remember the police report? It said that, like, a sex doll... Or not doll, sorry. Sex android attacked Sexiest someone. Sex androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> Hank. 
We're not trying to get some android pussy or dick right now. We're just trying to chill. Oh my god. Wait a second. Damn, daddy. Oh my god. Connor. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. Wait, I want to look at this guy some more. I'm sorry, Connor, but I may have just found like the love of my life. I want him. <laughs> Holy shit, he was sexy. <gasps> And hello over there. Oh. Y'all, I would love to go to an Android sex club. Bitch, show me them moves. Yes. Get on that pole. Show me, bitch. By the way, you guys, this is Connor's real life wife. Um, the one that's stripping on the pole right now, like the actor that played Connor, his wife is actually in this video game too. And this is her stripping on the pole. Not even kidding. She plays every single Tracy in this game. Tracy is like a model, like how there's multiple Kara's multiple Connors, so every Tracy doll is his wife, like the dead one on the ground right there. So that's pretty cool. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Whew. Like wasting time. It's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> Ooh, those sheets are sexy. Anyway. The yeah. red silk. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's hot. It's uh starting to stink of booze in here. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. I'll hurt you. Night, Don't come for him. With your little rat-looking face, bitch. I'll actually fight you. And, like, nice hairline. Okay, so... Oh, my God. I want this bed in real life. And the bed sheets and the pillows? Honey, living bougie out here. But, okay, he died. What happened? Uh, no sign of cardiac arrest. How did you die, then? Six to 194 pounds, Michael Graham. He died at 6.24 p.m. Severe bruise, blah, bruising around the neck. So what if she was just, like, choking him? <laughs> like, what if that's his kink? And what if he literally couldn't handle it? Victim was strangled. Yeah, he was strangled, but, like, what if he wanted it, you know? He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah. This is his wife, too. Let's go ahead and analyze her. Anything, oh, hey, ah! hey. <laughs> oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Connor loves putting shit in his mouth, you know? Blue blood, okay. Diagnose? Uh, Y'all couldn't see because my face cam was in the way, but it said critically damaged. Reactivation the only way required. To its memory is to reactivate it. Oh, we're reactivating her! Hey, bitch! It's badly damaged. We're just like if digging into her insides. Her, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh. Oh, oops. Sorry, I let go. Let's try that again. Okay. Hopefully, she'll talk to us. Oh. Uh-oh, she's scared shitless. <gasps> um, Soothe? Calm down. Everything's all right. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Uh, facts? Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Oh! Again. And again. Murderer? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Alone? Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model? What model was the other android? Did it look like you? Shit. She's just... Yeah, she just fucking shut down. Ah! Oh my god. Is my mic okay? I thought I just, like, dropped it. Okay. I accidentally, like, hit the cable when I was going like that. <laughs> it's happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. Uh-oh. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a oh, deviant shit. among all the other androids in this place. Okay. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. 
Okay, so we gotta try to find Maybe the deviant here. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for Android eyewitnesses. Okay, so what Did are we going victim? to do? Uh, let's ask her. Hello. Oh shit. No fingerprint. Hank! What's up, Daddy? We need Johan. Oh my god, he's so sexy. Like all these androids are just so fucking hot. Help us out though. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask you him to unlock it. For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better <laughs> things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Trust him. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. He's like, you better fucking pay me for this. <laughs> This is not gonna look good on my expense account. <laughs> oh my god. Oh? Delighted to meet you. Look how sparkly um, she is. Damn. Take you to your room. That's how I'm gonna look for my man when I get wine. Every single day, covered in sparkles like that. Uh, let's see her memory. Shit, what the hell Ooh, are you doing? Shit. That's a lot of buttons to push. Ooh, she's so pretty. Oh! Is that her? A blue haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. Okay. I think we might have found her. Who the fuck are you? You look like a weasel. <laughs> it saw something. Okay, we have to keep following the blue haired girl. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find ah! another witness. Oh god, okay, wait, wait. So, if we saw the android from this angle going here, this is where she was. Now let's try this android right here. Maybe that one have hey, seen her. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Let's try this one. Let's, let's see, have you seen anything? Other than this ugly dude. Uh, I don't think she saw anything. Shit, I chose the wrong one. She didn't see anything. You didn't see okay, okay. Let's try to be smart about this. Let's see, ask this I'm sexy guy mistakes. on the wall. And then maybe we'll ask the girl on the pole. Hank is spending so much money. Ooh, he's so hot. I'm gonna die like all these androids, bitch. So sexy. Wait, is she here? Yes! There she is! It turned back into the club. Okay. So, what? It's Now let's ask Oh, the blue-haired dress. Uh, I know which way it went. They you? It. Maybe you right here? There are androids everywhere. How Wait, did we already ask her? Shit, I don't know anymore. I'm like in the wrong position. Oh, girl, you was getting some action. Oh, wait. Did he just want to talk? He literally paid for a session just to talk to you. Hmm. Okay, let's ask her then, maybe. This, has gotta be the this is intense. I better not fucking fail. Tracy! Did she see anything? No! Fuck! Why can't I do this right? No. I'm so bad at this. We literally have two minutes left. I wasted a whole fucking minute. But okay, let's try it. this girl on the pool. this money and I'm still not having fun. Hank's a big mood. That pole is so pretty. It's like iridescent and shit. Yes! She saw it! She saw it! Okay. It turned into that room. The red room. So let's go into there. And who saw what? Let's start at like the back entrance because I feel like he has the clearest view of like the situation that's going on. So he'll probably be able to see, right? Oh, he's cute as hell too. All of the androids are just so sexy and it makes me want to die. Die, da, da, die. Okay, he didn't see shit. My plan didn't work. Who else can we ask? Ah, how long do we have? A minute and 42 fucking seconds. Let's ask you. Somewhere. 
This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Did you see anything? Please tell me you saw something. Please tell me you saw something. I'm getting desperate up in here. No! Okay, we got to ask one of them on the wall then. No. Why am I so shit at this fucking game? I lost its Let's track ask again. you. Please help me out, daddy. Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is. Yes, we got her. It turned into the blue room. The blue room, we're getting it. Okay, into the blue room. The sexiest androids in town. Hell yeah. Let's ask, eh, you? I don't know, you? Hank, okay, someone fucking tally up how much money Hank has spent so far. Because I bet he spent a lot. There she is. It hid in a room. Okay, let's go into that room now. It hid into this room. Hello? Ah! This room! No! We're wasting so much time. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I might have messed up really bad. It left the room. Okay. Fuck! One minute remaining. Let's ask the cleaning android. I don't know. Ask the cleaning android. They're like the last one there. Hello? Did you see anything other than this fucking bucket and the mo- Yes! Where'd you go? It fled through the staff door. Okay, it's in the staff door. I know where it Did went. Did we do it? Follow me. Did we fucking Fuck do it? Day. This is crazy. Yeah, Hank probably has no idea what's going on, but- Oh, we did it! Okay, there's no more, um... What's it called? Wait. I'll take it from here. There's no more timer, so sh I guess she's in here, hiding. Ah! Okay. So she's hiding somewhere in here, you guys. We gotta find her. Search the warehouse. Okay. What is there to do? There's fucking androids everywhere. Shit. We're too late. Says who? That looks like North. Y'all see her just in the back? Wait, what if I just look at the androids and look for a blue-haired one? Like if I see anybody with blue hair, I might be able to find her. That's probably like the easiest way. I don't see blue hair there. Ooh, I bet she's in one of these lines. <gasps> we got her! Yes! Ah! What the fuck? Who are you? You don't have blue hair. Wait, don't shoot her. We need to ask some questions. Shit. Ah! Oh, God. We got to fight properly, Connor. We did this. We found the deviants. Ah! 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 This bitch is tough. Holy sh- oh! oh my god! Girl! She's literally just trying to kill us! But I thought she wasn't even- ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I cannot concentrate. Oh my god. My heart! No, don't hurt Hank! Don't hurt Hank! Please! Ugh, pull! How is she so tough? What the fuck? She is so badass. Ah! Throw! We just threw another android at her, like, hey. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, shit. Ah! Don't hurt Hank, please don't hurt him. Wait, no! Catch them! Grab her leg, grab her leg, grab her, blah, grab her leg. Ah! Don't kill Hank, please. Please, 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 please. Ah! We got him. Yes. Wait, we got her. We got her. Ah. Ah. Oh, God. I don't want anyone to die. I really don't want anyone to die. But, like, they're literally fucking hurting me. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. Connor. Oh, God. Ah. 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 No, I'm not going to shoot her. Uh, spare. I'm not going to hurt her. I'm sorry. No. Oh, bitch! I just spared your life and you kicked me in the face, really? What a bitch! When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. Oh? 
I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed. Okay. Until he stopped moving. Queen shit. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Oh, they're in love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. Oh shit. Their dirty words. Come on. Oh my god. Let's go. Well, okay. After all of that, that whole fight scene, this bitch kicked me in the fucking head just for them to run away. It's probably better this way. What? I want an apology. Girl. Connor's literally like staring and he's like, what the fuck just happened? Girl. Okay. Um, we're going to do one more mission for this episode. So, yeah. But wow, we fucking did it. There was one more option that I haven't tried. So, maybe we'll go back and, like, replay all of the, like, things that we missed. Even the bad endings. Just to see, like, everything possible in this game. But that would take, like, weeks and weeks to figure out everything. But, okay. Luther and Alice and Kara. We are back. A lot of y'all love Kara's story the most, I think. I think. Okay. I have no idea where we're going. I really don't know. Oh, turn on. BKX 400 Android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Uh oh. Shit, next channel. Next channel. Shit. The public opinion fucking hates us, you guys. Shit. And like now we're too far in the game to go back and correct it. Fuck. I don't know. We're gonna try to fix it somehow. If possible. Wait, what are we doing? Can we talk to him? Oh, we can. Um, distance. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Okay. Car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. That's like the one thing he's I good for. I out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. He was rich as hell. Malfunction detected. What? Oh man, I'm just cold looking at the weather out there. I'm just cold already. This doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Shit. <gasps> Whoa, that is so cool. I've never seen a car do that. Stay inside, Alice. Oh, poor Alice. We're gonna have to go walk in the cold. Wait, close the door behind you. Close the door, or like, even if she's inside, it's still gonna, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, y'all are gonna make her freeze. Oh, the engine's up front. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a gamer, girl? I don't even know where a fucking car engine is. <laughs> I don't drive, though, either, so like, that's my excuse. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what's going on with the car? Honey, what what's the tea? Do? No. Continue on foot, I guess. Uh oh. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Uh, find shelter. Spend the night. Shit. Well, there's an arrow to something right here. Let's see. Are there any other options? Stay like. Here, hmm. Yeah, it looks like that's the only way we can go. I don't know. There might be something else. Let me know down below if you play this game and you've had a different path. Because this is like the only one that I can see so far. Amusement park, welcome. Let's go there. Over there. Amusement park. Pretty. Oh my God, I love winter so much and I love the snow. 
Seriously, it just makes me so happy. Like, I don't love being freezing cold, but I love the way the snow and everything looks. It's so cute. We need to find shelter. We have to eh, get out of the fuck cold. That. I don't need no map. Your I can find been somewhere. Abandoned for a while. Um, where can we go? We have to find shelter? Bitch, we're not staying in the fucking broken down freaking walls and shit. There's got to be something around here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by like a fucking monster or something. I'm scared. <gasps> what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Hello? Uh. He frostbited. Ah! Well, uh, Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome oh. to Pirate Island, <laughs> me hearties. Jumped. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Oh my God! He froze to death. Poor baby. That scared the fuck out of me. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting him to jump out and be like, mouth wide open. Mouth wide open like I was at the dentist. Um, where the heck are we going? A skeleton. Okay, but it's like a pirate amusement park. Like, come on. It's not that deep, sis. It's not a real thing. Not where else do we go? I don't see anywhere that looks suited. Uh, oh wait, what the heck is this? Move on in. Oh, it's like a little house. Looks safe inside. I like it. I say we take it. Is there a door or do we gotta like break the windows? Let's try to rip it off. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think it's better if you do it. Because he's like eight foot tall. Oh, my God. Daddy's strong. Damn. Oh, my God. Come get y'all juice. Did you see that shit? What? He should be a police there officer android. Imagine. Nobody would want to run away from him. Nobody would want to, like, provoke him. <sighs> I wonder what, like, each of their models are designed for. But he's for, like, better. physical labor, I guess. I don't know. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Okay. So we're settling in. Check Luther's bag. Why do I gotta snoop? Why am I snooping on his bag and shit? That's weird. Like, I'm just going to look in his bag and be like, hey. Okay, let's take this. What is it? A picture? Ah, the happy family. That's going to be you guys. Wait, can androids have kids? Oh, RA9. RA9, look. There's more androids here. I'm telling y'all. Let's take the pillow. Aw, that's kind of cute. A nice little, like, bougie bed for Alice. A nice room DIY. I'll make the fire here. Where that should we put we it? Out. Uh, here? Okay. Where's Luther's bag? We gotta check Alice? it. Oh, she's looking at the picture. Baby, I'm sorry. I just want to hug her. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Yes, of course. Let's be optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. Yes. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. Yes, you will. I can see her with a job. Like everyone else. Yeah. As long as we're together, that's all that oh. matters. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Let's get to bed. Alice. Okay. 
Okay, where's Luther's bag? Over here. Um, offer cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Has she even eaten since we left though? Like, homegirl needs to eat something. Let's check the gun. I mean, that's for just in case, right? They gotta be able to protect themselves, you know? But okay, let's go and tuck Alice in for bed. We had a very long, crazy day escaping some crazy old man's fucking basement. <laughs> so, let's kiss her. Like, it's Sweet okay. Alice. You'll be fine. Sweet dreams. She's so adorable. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 <laughs> children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. So cute. Um, let's do a princess. Princess Alice. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Oh? I think we're not for me. Okay. Oh, this, this is going to be emotional. This is a story about a little girl. Was unhappy. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. She was different. Oh. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. <laughs> was also unhappy. He wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. Did y'all just see that fucking lightning? I'm sorry, but y'all- I'm sorry to ruin, like, this really sweet moment, but did you guys just see the fucking lightning that just came in? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. There's a thunderstorm outside. Anyways, um, live in peace. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They're together! But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. Um. A guardian? Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. What a sweetheart. That's a story end. Happy end. They reach the place they dream of. We're gonna make them go to Canada, you guys. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. I'm sorry, I just- I Time want to you to sleep. be happy. <laughs> we have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Oh. Yes. Yes, of course. So cute. Hug Luther and die in his arms. Like he just looks so cuddly. He's a huge guy. Like look at how petite Kara looks next to him. Like holy shit. Wait, what do we do now? Just talk? She's a sweet girl. Yup. <laughs> yes. She's very brave. It's finally calm and quiet. RA9. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. Oh. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Okay. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story? Marcus is RA9, apparently. RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, yes, we will all see him. We will, for sure. Have you ever 
noticed anything about Alice? Huh? What? No. What do you mean? <gasps> oh my god! Police, open up! Ah! What? Frostbitten hose? Oh! oh! Protect Alice! Always! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. It's jokes. Like Get ready to pee. Our name is Jerry. <laughs> we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Our name is Jerry. What are you doing here? <laughs> we were looking for shelter. Oh for my dinner. god. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Aww. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks so sad. So cute. The last few <gasps> days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, <laughs> Our name is Jerry. I don't think you have any choice. Y'all, they're so cute, but why they have to break the fucking windows down? Like, can't y'all just be like... Like, knock on the fucking door? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But I guess they're gonna show her something over here to make her happy. Be our guest. Reactivate the carousel. Alice gets to go on a ride. Aw. Look how pretty. Look at her. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is Begin. To freedom! Wait, do I have to help her up? Yeah. This is so sweet. Look at the little, like, seahorse seats. Get on up. Look at them jumping in the background. Why are they jumping? I think they're just excited too, but this is so cute. Y'all, look how cute it is. Aww. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Mm, the tears. Oh my god. Well, I'm happy they had to have this sweet little moment. Because all I'm going to say is that the next couple episodes are going to be intense. Very intense. It's going to be scary, spooky, and definitely a shit show, shit storm. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. How long have I been filming for? An hour and three minutes. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode just as much as the other ones. And yeah, I hope you're looking forward to the next one too. So again, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. So goodbye, thotties.